guys, it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I am here today with part one of a multi-part series that is my complete coloring book collection and finished pages. Yes, I'm super excited for this series. I did this about a year ago and it's time to do it again. I think these are some of everybody's favorite videos. I know they're my faves and I'm excited. I'm doing mine in my own unique way. Basically, I for part one, it is all Disney books. So I think this is gonna be one of the most exciting parts, but I actually counted how many books I'm showing you. I counted how many pages I have done. I counted how many uncolored books, and I'm gonna give you all of those stats at the end. So they're stacked next to me. I'm trying to think of the best thing. Oh, a few disclaimers beforehand, a rubber band. Um, number one. I think this is all of them. Um, I keep children's books somewhere different. I'm not counting those towards this collection. I use those more for either sharing with my nieces and nephews or for like crafts, things like that. Um, two, I frequently rotate my books. I share with people as often as I can. Um, so I have some books that are just not physically at my house that are part of my collection. And what else? I thought there was a third disclaimer, but now I don't know if I can remember. I don't know. So let's just jump into it. Almost all of these books are from overseas, either France or Japan. So again, let's just jump into it. Number one is uncolored. It is vintage Disney. And I'm not going to flip through all of them because I can't. I am also not going to be able to link them down below because again, there's a lot in this stack. And if we want to see these videos we're not gonna have time to link them so for basically everything in this stack though i should have flip through videos on i will link the playlist <clears throat> up above and you should be able to see flip through so this is vintage this is a hard cover book i think there's 80 pages in there look at these look how thick that is look at that cardboard so it is a sturdy sturdy book and i have not yet done anything in it so We'll have to get to that soon. Next, another currently uncolored book is Disney Mandalas. This is a square book, Legrand Squares. And this is single-sided and all mandala style. It's easier to flip backwards for single-sided. I did definitely want to get in here soon and I just have to just have to jump in. Apparently a lot of my uncolored ones are all next to each other. So the next two are from Japan. They were gifts from Sam. I think this is considered a lesson book. So this is Art of Disney Happiness lesson book. And this one might be Rainbow. I don't know if they have names, but if you even see just there that they teach you rainbow style, and then they give you an example page for you to follow along. And then there's just more pages in the back. Sam got this for me and I haven't colored in it yet. Probably because it's double-sided. Probably because I'm afraid of things that aren't color by number. So, Sam also got me this. It's Disney Seasons, and I desperately want to get in here and haven't yet, which is very disappointing. I'm so sorry, but it is just another big, beautiful, double-sided book that I will have to do pencils, and I'm therefore afraid of it. I love like this is one of the cutest pictures i'm always sad with double page spreads how far into the crease it goes but apparently i can just break that spine to get in there okay finally i have a page done so this is disney villains spiroglyphics it's one of the newest ones in the series since this one came out harry potter came out but i do have two done in here hooray so these are just spiral pages i have them all posted in, so i don't know why i feel like that but there we go King Candy, and I use gel pens in these, and it takes about two gel pens, but or at least the Dollar Tree gel pens. So I bought two packs, and I just pick a color and go for it. So I finished King Candy, and I finished Ursula. I was originally trying different mediums, and then just went to the gel pens, so the, her outer rings are a little weird. But I'll give you a sneak peek of the answers, so here are the answers. Okay, the answers are gone in case you didn't want to see. Next, I have the Disney Original Dreams Thomas Kincaid collection. 
I have a whip in here and that is it, but this is beautiful. And it's basically an art book if I don't finish anything, so I'm not feeling too bad. There's my one whip, but beautiful, beautiful work. And he does have a few others in this collection. Well, not he, his company. There is the princess version. There's like a giant version. There's been calendars. So Thomas Kincaid stuff is all over the place. The next two are actually gifts from Shayna and Shayna and Cuddleland. My words, I'm tripping over, but they are the books that you can actually get in Disney World. So I have the princess coloring book, and this one is shaped like a heart and super cute. It is double-sided and has a lot of different types of images in here, and I just need to get to it. I haven't, and I'm excited to. So I will work in that soon. And this one, Mickey and Friends coloring book. I did do a page in here. I did this page of Pooh Bear flying in the galaxy on his balloons. This got weird, this page. <laughs> I still like it though. So there's a bunch of different ones in here too of all the different characters. Next is my only children's color by number. Uh, this is their mystery colors, but it's a little bit simpler because in theory it's for children. Obviously anybody can do it, but I colored these two pages with, um, what is it called? Crayons. Actually, this was crayons and this was uh, my attempt at water-based and the paper just sucks it up weird. So I don't know, I really like the crayons and I use the twistables and that's what I'm going to continue to use in this book. So this is just a bunch of cute Mickey and friends images and there's a whole bunch in this series, but it's, I just wanted to try one to see if I liked it. To be honest, I do like it, but I'm not in a rush to complete that collection. <clears throat> Next, I have, this was actually a gift from Ren, from Ren's Coloring Craze. It is the Mickey Mouse Doodling Pad, and I do have one done in here. And it is this one, and I keep this with these, even though it's technically a kid's book. But it's just super cute, and I used a whole bunch of glitter. So, there we go. Here is a book I commandeered from Sam that I haven't colored in, but he did. But this is Darth Vader and Family Coloring Book. Um, this is actually a comic strip that they just put into a coloring book. So it's super cute. And I, of course, I'm going to let Sam use it if he does color with me. But I was like, if I ever need something Star Wars, I just want this to be mine. So that's one of Sam's creations. Then I have... Disney Princesses Art Therapy, 100 Images to Inspire. This was one of my very first coloring books and I am not a big fan. So this is my only finished page in here. There's a ton of wallpaper images and there's a ton, like they're double-sided. Some of them are okay, things like that, but I really am never drawn to this. Sam actually colored that with watercolor paint. And again, we were just testing mediums in here. I, if I end up Getting rid of some books. This is definitely one on the chopping block, if I'm honest. So there's that. Now is the series of pixel books. So let me actually see if I can get you a little bit higher. Hopefully you didn't see all my my dirty desk, but I feel like you're not very high. So hopefully this is better. Um, there are nine in this series, and I now have all nine. This is Girl Power. I haven't done anything in this one yet. This is gonna be one of my big focuses coming up because I really like these. So I'm just gonna show you the backs as your sneak peek of the images. Hopefully they all have images on the back, but girl power. Then I have the Sum Sum version. I have a few done in here, but there's the back for a sneak peek. And I did this one. I have been trying mixing the, the type mixing the techniques, that's the word. So I did like the cross message. Cro <laughs> Friends, this is rough. This is a rough time. Okay, I did the X method in the back and then the dot method for the foreground. And I feel like it gives it some dimension. I also did this page of Belle. In this book, out of the nine, this is the only one that does it. Let's see if we can get real close. The boxes are off center of each other, so they're kind of, yeah, they're they're not straight up and down pixels. They're a little bit off center. Let's see if we can focus. Do you see? So it's kind of weird doing the X method in here because everything is not as straight up and down. 
and I did Jasmine. So you definitely still see who it is, but it's a little bit sloppier compared to the rest of the books. And that's it in there. I also have love stories that I haven't colored in yet. There's the back for some a taste of what's in there. I have princesses and fairies. I have two done in here. I did this Mulan page with Mushu and this Snow White page. And again, I mixed my method, so the X's and the dots. These dots are bigger than Belba dots, if that's what you're familiar with. I have best friends and I have nothing done in here yet, which surprised me. So I gotta get in there real soon. I have the Grand Classics. And I did one in here, which was Maleficent. And then there's another little taste on the back. I have Mickey and Friends. I have two done in here. I have Plutes. And this I did X in the back and then solid for the image. And then I have Minnie and I did all three for this. So I did X in the back, dots for the hearts, and solid for Minnie. So I really like that one. This book has a lot of really nice, bold images, and I like this one a lot. So, And finally, I have, oh, not finally, <laughs> animals. I don't have anybody done in here yet. So some of the, a taste of what's in there. This croc seems to be on the back of a few of these. And finally, for real this time, I have babies. This I have the most done. I have 10 done in here. So let's see what we got. We have a Simba, Dory, Squirt, and Marlin, I guess. We have Lilo and Stitch. We have Hercules and Mulan. I usually use Snow White. I usually use my Inconics for these or I use my Statler dual tip. You could always use Crayola super tips, anything that is water-based because these are obviously double-sided. Pocahontas. And Mowgli and Ka. I did the X and the dots for that one too. And the three little pigs. So this was, I think, on one of my books to finish. So I have the most done in here. But I really want to work in all of them because I love them. Okay, next up are these big boys. Yes, I have Vitro. So you've definitely seen this on my channel before. But I actually have four pages done in here. Let's see if I can clear my monopod because this is a big, big book. So I have Hank done. I have, this was my first one, so it's Donald and Daisy, super cute, and Robin Hood and the kids, this I actually used ink tents because the back is just um, a title page, but I will probably continue to do pencils in these books it does make it crinkly and 99% of my books I don't mind but for whatever reason this one I don't like the crinkle and I did Ariel so I actually did this as a four-part series on my channel if you want to scroll back and find that so and of course with Vitro 1 now comes Vitro 2 so I did a flip through the of this very recently on my channel if you want to go look, but I don't really, I don't have anything done yet. So just another big magical book of fun images. So there we go. Those are huge, like huge, huge. Okay. Next up we have the alphabet book. And I think I have two done in here. So first up is O for Olaf. These are obviously 
block style so they open that way and rumor has it they tend to fall apart because they're glue bound not mine haven't yet but if they do i have um presentation books ready so there's that i use washi tape on the letter itself i did some glitter and then i think the background is just water-based pens of some sort and then we have tigger who i again did washi tape and then i think i did color pencil that I just pressed very hard and the sky was watercolor so I really like using the washi tape method in that book it's fun okay I also have a silhouette magic and I did one in here thank you Audrey for making me get on this but I did the Emperor's New Groove page I tried to copy the lettering on the VHS for the words and the whole background is glitter gel pen I don't know if it's gonna pick up and then the splotches are metallic paint and then Cusco's are in pencil so I really like this book too let's see if I can give you a quick flip instead of the character themselves being on the page it's their silhouette and they're kind of surrounded by all the iconography of whatever their movie is so that one will be fun if I ever work more in it. Then next up I have Mosaics. This is almost like the beginner's, um, what is that one called? Sorry, the beginner's vitro because it's similarly like broken up. But these are single sided which is nice and these are super tiny little details but that should make it easy to use watercolor or of course do what you want and just color straight over all those lines. So I really need to get into this one. But if you are noticing most of the books from my most recent Disney haul are not yet colored, I have to get moving. Here's an example of putting them in the portfolio. Um, I put portraits one and two in the same container. It makes it super, super thick. This is a 60 page container. Um, obviously I put them in double sided because now I'll be working on them one at a time. I actually cut this out from the title page of portraits one to put there and I put my covers portraits one here and then portraits two on the back. I actually did remove four pages to get everything to fit but that includes the postcards so I would have only needed to remove two if I was keeping the postcards. I just removed pictures I didn't like if I'm being honest with you. So I have four pages done in here. I also mix them up and put them in movie order instead of in um, the order they were in. Because I was like, if I'm ripping them all out anyway, I can do what I want. So there is Daisy. Pongo. I'm sorry there's going to be glare for these four, but it's easier than taking them all out. Robin Hood. And finally, Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. So I'm excited. I haven't, oh, I did color. I colored Daisy since I've done this, but I'm excited to just take these out and be able to work on them all willy-nilly because the way my desk is set up, it was kind of hard to work on them in that when they open that way, just because I don't have space in that direction. I only have space in this direction. So, but there is the two of those, so. Hooray. Okay. Now we're getting into it. The next 17 books are all the color by numbers. So they're all mystery colors, I think. One of them is a circle book, but I have tons done in here. So sit back and get ready. This is Grand Classics Volume 1. So let's see what we did. We did Tinkerbell. So for these, I predominantly use water-based markers. I will use either Statler dual-ended fiber tip markers, or I will use Crayola Super Tips. I have on occasion used the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pen, but those are the majority of what I do. I sometimes use Tombows. I use Tombow to do the black outlining. If you can see, this is some of my very early ones, and I used to use my Prismacolor pencils. So 
these are outlined in black marker and then Prismacolor pencils for all the inside. But obviously these are huge pages and they were just eating through my Prismacolor pencils and they're not as bold as I would like. But for the ones I use Prismacolor pencils, I kept extra papers in there just in case they'll rub off. But then once I've finished the other side, I'll take the paper out. So there's Bambi. Um, I was just pressing really hard to get it to match as good as possible. So Dumbo and Timothy, I love the black outline. Some of the later books don't really have the black outlining, but that's kind of my favorite part. So I add it in when I can. And I've had these books for a long time now. Um, it's kind of distracting with the papers. I hope it's not too bad. So I have a lot done, but not as much as I wish I had done. So I'm going to keep keep working at it. And I'm hoping to do a lot this month in May. Flower. Stitch. Radigan. Baby Cusco, I really like this page a lot. And I've said it before, Zerg, I love these books because they definitely focus on the big characters, but also on lesser known characters, lesser represented characters. There's such great variety. Obviously, once you have 17 of them, there is more overlap. But if you are just starting your collection, um, I recommend highly looking through my flip throughs and finding just the perfect volume for you because again, they all have different characters. So if you're like the, a major fan of somebody specific, you might wanna find a book that they're in. This one actually worked from the front, so. I think volume two, which is this one, I'm sorry I didn't say it, is my favorite of them. So this might be the first one of them that I finish. And this is one of my favorite pictures of all time in these. I don't know what it is. I just love how bright and beautiful Rabbit is. Ariel. I love this page and I feel like they did this more so in the beginning that it looks like they're looking at each other and both excited. So I just love that coordination and like they're both being demure. I love this page a lot too. I'm a big Scrooge McDuck fan. Flounder being sassy. Sir Hiss from Robin Hood. Uh, a lot of the times I will do my monthly themes for Disney and that's how I'll pick my pages. Sometimes I will put on a movie and color a page from whatever that movie is. Sometimes I'll random number generate. There's a whole different slew of ways I pick pages in these books. Sometimes I'll ask Sam, sometimes I'll ask a friend, whatever. Volume two has a lot of Pooh Bear. As you're seeing, the volume one did not have any. It's just a lot of flipping at this point. Nico and Lilo. Mushu and Merlin, they're both being grumpy. Oh. There you go. So in the back, it does have oh, the page number, the movie they're from, and the year that movie came out. Obviously, it's in French, so for some of them, it doesn't really matter because you can tell, and some of them, you might have to look it up. Grand Classics Volume 3. Hero 6. Volume 3 had a lot of the fairies from the Tinkerbell series that I don't really know very well. Alice and Tiger Lily. Flash. Kronk. Snow White. If you're interested, I usually say my themes at the end of every wrap up. My May theme is oldies, which is just anything older than Oliver and Company or older than the Renaissance essentially. 
so 80s and earlier. So I'm hoping to get a lot of pages done this month. One, that's a lot of movies to cover. And two, when I tell you the math at the end of how many pages I've colored and how many I have left, yikes, that's a terrifying whip. But I'm pretty sure that's Hans. Baymax. I love this combo. Um, I also get asked about color matching a lot. For the most part, as you can see, it doesn't always work out, but for the most part, I focus mostly on their skin tone and then the rest of it doesn't matter as much, but skin tone is also the hardest, so we do what we can, but we have so many pages that it's okay if you make some mistakes. Tomb 4. Morgana from Little Mermaid 2. So in the background, there could have potentially been even more back there, and sometimes I just ignore it. Um, I also, as you're seeing, I try to do the whole section of that color and do straight lines. So even though it's streaky, it's consistently streaky. Volume 4 has a lot of bright, fun colors and also a lot of sequels. Robin Hood. Aladdin. Are you okay? Yeah. Belle. Gus Gus. Goofy. I think this was the page I did for Buddy Colorathon last year. As you can maybe see, sometimes I did a hybrid of markers and pencils depending on what I had but now I almost always do full markers and I just go for it. I accidentally made them younger. I made both of their hair colors a little bit off. My post-its are sliding all over because I have so many. Naveen as a frog. Oh, hit my monopod. I have to do that at least once a video. And this is Emperor's New Groove too, or Kronk's New Groove, I think. Volume five. I have Madame Mim. Thomas O'Malley. Oof, this was a, a real good example of when color went wrong. But Cricky, I don't remember his name right now. Hmm. And Iago. Volume 6. There are currently eight volumes. I have Super Stitch. And there is a best of book, but the best of is just a few pages from each book. So I, if you are going to get each book, I don't think you need the best of. If you can only get one book, maybe the best of is a good idea. Um, the best of has the cover image and then like three or four from each book, or maybe even more than that, maybe like 10, but definitely the cover images. This book actually does not have the black lines and I added them myself because I like it. Um, they basically wanted you to outline with a slightly darker color than what you like inlined with. Let me go back to her. So instead of black, this would have been very dark blue and this would have been very dark purple. And this would have been just like a darker peach or pink, whatever color she is. But I personally really do like the black outline and I think it pops a lot more, so. I chose to do that instead. Tomb seven. We have Jafar. Obviously the higher numbers are the newer ones, so I don't have as much done in there. That's the only one. And in fact, I have nothing done in tomb eight. I do have a whip, but I didn't tab that out. So I'm going to work in this one this month for sure. Then there are two, kind of three, trompe which seems to mean optical illusion. 
and you can see on the cover, this is what you see before you color, and then this is what it turns into. So, I have Merlin. A lot of people don't like this because you can kind of still see Ursula back there, but it does not bother me, and I think it's fun, so. Fred. More Big Hero 6. This month, I think, was new movies, which in my classification was 2010s and later. Bambi and an old Goofy. Um, the difference in this volume and the next one is this is super random. So I don't know if I can tell. I'll wait till we get to a blank page. But yeah, so this is from... No, I don't like that one. Hold on. We'll get there. Okay, you can see. I can see. This beast and bell in the background, and then it turns into Sebastian, and that's kind of like why. It's a little weird. So in the second volume, the background image goes with the foreground image. So but I really like these because, for the most part, they're very simple, clean colors. Most of them have a black background. Obviously, Chicken Little does not but most of them do. Oh. Prince Philip. I think the funniest thing, basically everyone I have seen get these books, you're gonna mess up your first skin tone. It's going to look ridiculous. And sometimes I still mess them up, but again, don't worry about it. Fear. This is who's controlling my brain. I think that's from Darkwing Duck also. Yzma. I actually did purple glitter eyeshadow for her. And I don't know why I haven't done that since then. If you follow a lot of the French color tubers or Instagrammers, they do some crazy stuff with theirs. Like a lot of them will shade like crazy or they'll add in their own backgrounds. But I really just like the plain images. I think they're beautiful on their own. Okay, now we have a Trompe l'Oeil Optical Illusions Volume 2. Baby Hercules. So can we tell on this one? One of them I'll be able to tell. I can't tell on that one, sorry. I think that, so the background image was Aurora's father, and then it turned into Flora. I have a whip. I think I just ran out of, because if you can see on the bottom, this is like 17 brown shades, and I was like, I don't have that many browns, so. What I do when this happens, usually, I didn't apparently for this one. So for Zazu, if I see that there are five shades of brown, I just try to find five shades. I don't necessarily color match exactly, but I'll take the five shades I do have and I'll make sure that I'm denoting them like lightest to darkest as what they should be. If that makes any sense. Kida. Rue, I did this one on video. Rainbow Unicorn from Inside Out. And that is it for that one. Then we have, this is called Portraits, but it's basically Optical Illusions Volume 3. This one's kind of weird. Um, I don't love how this one came out, if I'm going to be honest with you again, because you kind of can't see either image. So I don't know, like, okay, you can see that that's Pinocchio which probably means that Pinocchio, the actual Pinocchio picture is in within like two pages in either direction. So I did Jack Jack. And I did Nick and Judy. This style's also really different than most of the rest of the book, but I actually really like it. And I did Mickey. So I just did this last month. So there's that one. Also, the backs of the books and the front have flaps, and I like to use it to 
flap what page I'm working on so it's easy to reference it in case I'm not sure where any of the lines are going. And also sometimes when I'm color matching, I will look at what they actually want back here more so than the tiny little circle just to be sure I'm getting the closest that I, sh I need to be getting. Next is Pixar. There has since been a volume two. Pixar, this is not my favorite and I will show you. So this one basically has no black lines and I am not good at it. So I might give it another shot because these are very similar to the mystery color magazines that a lot of people love. I only have the dinosaurs that I was gifted by my friend Christy, but that was the first time I had tried that style. And I feel like these kind of have the same vibes. So if you love those, you might really like this Pixar one. But for me, like I tried to start that one and it's just a lot and a mess and I didn't like it. This was when I was still using pencils. <coughs> ah, I was so close to done. So I don't even know what I was saying anymore. On to the next book. Next is my only one in this series. This is Baby's Circle Magic. There are, I think, three of these currently. And like I said, this is the only one I have so far. The pages are a mixture of like corkle style and of like pixel style. I've only done the corkle style ones, but there's one with Mushu. Obviously, corkles, they just, you just pick five shades of one color, but this, they just give you your specific colors, but stylistically, the circle look is the same. Some Dalmatians and a baby Simba. So if you notice the baby pixel book and this baby book have a lot of the same characters. Also coming soon is a baby color by number like this next style. And I assume a lot of them will be the same too. So this is Fantastic Creatures. This is one of my two newest ones in this style. And unfortunately I have nothing done in here yet. These books, this one and the princess book are incredibly detailed, much more detailed than any of the previous ones. So if you are new to this style, I might be wary of doing this one, but the princess one is even more detailed. But if you like the challenge or you really love detailed pages, I recommend them. So next is Mickey, Donald and Co. So this one is all of the classics and I actually, first of all, after a few years, my spine is breaking. I will probably just eventually glue that back on. This book I have taken with me like on multiple plane trips, took this on my honeymoon. I travel with this of all of them. I don't know what it is, but Mickey, Mickey, Minnie. And in this book, I've also taken to just doing the outline, even if I'm not ready to fill it in. And I've also done a few little bits and bobs here and there just for fun. So I have this page done. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you all of my works in progress. Just skip to the finishes. I finished this last month. Donald. I like to do this one at Christmas time a lot. As you saw, I did some winter pages, but there are a ton of pages from Mickey's Christmas Carol in here, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies ever. So there's another one. And there's Minnie from The Three Musketeers, I think. So that's it for that one. We're nearing the end. Then we get to the stats. We have dogs and puppies. There's also cats and kitties or kittens, but I am not the biggest cat person. So I did get the dog one though. And I've done a few. I have Percy from Pocahontas. And then I did the double page spread of Plutes. And this was actually the first time I used glitter gel pen for my line work. Lisa from Lisa's Coloring Corner tried this and I was like, oh my goodness, I love that a lot. So I might do this more in the future. I thought it worked well for the theming of these pages and now it leaves me some glittery residue, which I absolutely love. So this is dogs, lots of cute ones in there. 
And then finally, the final book in this video is my newest of this series. This is Princesses. So this one is so detailed. I'm gonna show you some spoilers now, but it is intense. Just the shading, all the line work, even the backgrounds are super, super detailed. And I'm very nervous to work in here. Look at that, get out of town. Uh, so I have not yet. Hopefully I will soon, but we'll see. Otherwise, I honestly just love collecting these and I'm excited to have them all. I think I do. Here's the little pamphlet. They changed the covers since I started collecting, which I'm like, oh man, but it's okay. So yeah, I don't have Pixar Volume 2 and I don't have Cats and Kittens. We'll see. In the future, I might end up getting Pixar Volume 2 just because... I'm gonna give Pixar Volume 1 another shot. So there we go. All right, what are our stats? So I showed you 45 books. I have 17 of the 100 page mystery colors. I have nine pixel books. And then I guess that leaves 26, 19 others that are not in either of those series. Of those 45 books, 17 of them are not yet colored in. This is being one of them. So I have work to do. Some of them are super intimidating and some of them are just new, but I love Disney and I would love to color more in them. I might have a very Disney heavy month in May. We're gonna see, but I need to just focus on these a little bit more than I have been. Okay, I have 185 completed pages. <sighs> I don't know how to feel. I'm not too proud of that number. And again, I think I need to work more. Um, out of the 17 big books, I have 152 completed pages, which is 152 out of 1,700, or about 8%. But considering I just got this one and Fantasy Creatures, if we even take those out of the equation, then I'm at about 10% done. So I probably could go the rest of my life without buying any more, but I probably will be buying more the next time I make a purchase. So... That is my stats for part one. Please let me know if you made it to the end. Do you want to see the parts back to back? Do you want me to spread them out a little? Do you want them to be themed in any way? I don't know if you're gonna get that decision about theming because I might be filming them before I post this one. So obviously I always ask questions and then I'm like, well, literally your answer doesn't matter because it's already filmed. So I apologize for that, but I'm excited to show you the rest. Last year, it took four parts. I have a feeling this year will take five parts at least, if not more. I'm going to try to keep them at around 45 minutes max each. We will see, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way till the end, maybe tell me who your favorite Disney character is, please. If you are new here, please subscribe. I'm a fun time. Links down below to Amazon, my Patreon, uh, an email address, all that fun stuff. Uh, comment anything you wanna comment, like this video, and I'll be back again in two days with either part two or something different, who knows? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye guys.